An update on the World of Tiglath campaign. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. Just a quick update. I'm still working on Inase, which is my the focus of my campaign. I'm going through and I am this is the city of Inase that you can see on the screen. I'm in Campaign Cartographer 3. And one of the things I am doing is starting to add uh, names to all the streets. I am starting with the main streets. So, let's see. Uh, info bearing with cross with this you can get the angle of the street by just looking at the bearing. That gives me 350 degrees as the angle of the street of, of that. So if I give the name of the street here, and let's put that there. Properties. Let's say the angle is 350. Okay, okay. Cross lances. Okay, now that's there. Now I want to put the name in several places. So we're going to be putting it several places along the street. So 315. So um, this is what I'm I'm working. I want to be able to give actually give the players a copy of perhaps a version of the map. Okay, this is an interesting thing that I saw. I've got to, if I redraw the map, will that redraw it? No. Okay, they do this, do this. Something strange was happening there. I don't know if you noticed it. But it's, um, we want to, so this is the main so here we go. So info bearing. These this is one of the main streets in Anase. I will zoom in in a minute. And uh, okay, 354 properties. 54. So I get the name of all the streets because I want to um, be able to reference uh, okay let's can't tell where I'm at as you can tell it's the scale of this is is large enough that it's easy to get lost even when you're in something like campaign cart cartographer so info bearing Three forty-two. So, um, so as you're seeing that it, it's somewhat tedious. It's something that, uh, but it's somewhat enjoyable. If you're into cartography, um, campaign cartographer is uh, an interesting tool. I've had my issues with it and it crashes occasionally don't get me wrong so you back up frequently um, and if you do get a corrupted file and I have several times they're very good at fixing it you often will uh, send you know end up sending them the file and they will so figure out what's wrong with it. I've had that happen to me a couple of times where I've had to um, send the file to the people at uh, Pro Fantasy to uh, have them fix the file uh, because there's something wrong with it. But, and they're very good about that, but it's, a, you know, that's an irritant that it shouldn't happen. The program is relatively um, relatively stable. 
it's expensive for most people. It, uh, I've just bought it o over many years. So uh, you end up spending, spent a lot over the years on this. So there we go. So this, as you can see, if we zoom in, I've numbered every building in the city. I got over 3,000 buildings. And my goal is to, uh, I've got a program which generates people, so that the goal is to generate, I've already generated the people, I'm going to modify that a bit. And but this is um, the centerpiece of where we're, I envision the campaign to be. Now the players could always go off in La La Land and head out and go through. And I have most of the world drawn up, and that I just wanted to try a city adventure. I spent quite a bit of time drawing this up, and it was somewhat enjoyable. Uh, it's tedious, but uh, this is where I'm at with an assay, and I'm drawing up an assay. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to, what I'm going to do with giving it the characters or not. So that's, that's the hard part. I may get, just break it up into districts. Um, because there are several obvious districts. So the main roads sort of break up. This is one district, and this is another district, and this is another district. And you have this district, and you have this district, and then you, you have a, a small district here, and a district here, and a district here, and a district here, and a district here. Somewhat broke, primarily broken up by the main, which are which are called the level one roads, which are, which is what I've done here. So the advantage to this is I could always. Um, if I do this, this is what I really like about the thing. So right now, I am on text of roads one. So if I do a hide all and a freeze all, so they can't do it, make anything. And then I want the backgrounds. And I want, I'm going to hide all the buildings. And I don't know if I've actually broken them down by that. And I want the city walls, and I want the coast and sea, and construction and contain, construction and containers, and the docks. Frill track. Not even sure what that is. Let's leave the hex grid outline, and we'll hyperlinks. We'll want to see the labels, and we'll do the map and the map border. They've contour, and we want to see the roads. So let's unsee let's see all the roads. There are three levels of roads. But we're not going to do see standard structures we're not going to do. And let's do the text and the title. Vegetation, walls, walls outline, walls solid colors, waters and a river. So let's do that. So this gives us, hmm, didn't quite do what I was expecting to do. Because I thought it would, oh, I must have hit cancel. Well, never mind. But what happens is that you can um, select what you show. And when you zoom in on an area, you can th the restrict it. But that's what I'm thinking about doing is not showing any of the buildings but the districts and then giving them guidance of where things are in each of the districts and going from there and uh, this is my uh, city of Anase that I've been working on a bit and I still need to add some vegetation and things like that and it will change as we play the game I know that that's one of the advantages that I like is I like to be able to go in and change things at the last minute if I dislike them. I've went through and adjusted a lot of buildings and but there's still some I need to add things into some of the open spaces like some trees and such which I haven't got around to doing and water fountains and statues and so on so that needs to be added but this is the you know it's a fairly densely populated uh, area 
city and you've got each you know what I'm gonna know what each building is and know what who lives in each building and have every character and know what they uh, in theory do so this is sort of an update of where I'm at on the world of an essay so thank you I look forward to learning what you think about this video let me know in the comments below if you like this video press the thumbs up button or if you don't give me the thumbs down if you're new here and want to subscribe, you can press the icon on the left, or if you're interested, there is more content on the right. Thank you.